Okay, having a little fun with some pirate, and uh, you know, again, we're working on the uh, the bike I was doing for uh, Thunder uh, Mountain Custom Paint, and I've uh, been doing some subcontract work for him. This one came up; it was a lot of fun. It was uh, for a builder uh, up north in Wyoming, I believe, and it was to debut at a Texas uh, Hog Rally or Texas Top Chopper Show in uh, May. Well, the concept here was uh, to, uh, you know, create a kind of image where, you know, much like Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, the, the light, when the light hit the uh, the pirates, you would, uh, you know, see the uh, the real face, but then when the moon came out or at nighttime, you would see the skull behind it. So what I did was I, I worked on a, a core shadow concept uh, straight down the middle of the face, you know, kind of uh, ex exaggerating two planes of lighting uh, from one side to the other. And, uh, you know, I'm going to begin working with the, uh, the white and uh, really develop the image and uh, spend a lot of time creating the details and such uh, with just the white before I go in with any other colors. really didn't have any image to work from here other than my recollection of the movie so I had a lot of fun just kind of creating my own little little thing here my own little pirate uh, and uh, you know it's uh, it's a lot of fun working from uh, inside your head and uh, not feeling disturbed but you couldn't really find a reference photo that you want so uh, we talked about this quite a bit in some issues of the AB mag and uh, you know discussing how to uh, take the things that you see around you observe and uh, create Create these elements on your own in a, in a in a smaller scale, and eventually building it into the large project that you have inside your mind. The coins are done with a little bit of freehand shielding and uh, a whole lot of uh, you know exaggeration with the white uh, to create elements and texture and, and subtle relief to the tops of the coins. You can see here we're having them overlap and, and you know interact with each other to a point where you know it's not uh, a consistent or repetitive pattern. You want to bust up the arrangement of these things to make them look like they've fallen in some sort of natural form. a lot of dagger strokes, a lot of really uh, tight flood strokes where you help exaggerate that the sense of reflection coming from the coins and the, the interactivity of the light going on around the coins. Okay, we're starting to put the color on here. I got a little bit of yellow on the coins and I've got a little bit of red on the coat of my pirate, some in the bandana. You can also see uh, the yellow reappearing in the banner in a very subtle fashion. A little bit of a, uh, a misting of yellow and red over top of the skull side of the face. This is the first uh, beginning washes of color. Now I'm taking a, uh, a mixture of a, a, a real dark blue, purple, and, and black mix. A lot of it's really transparent. And now I'm just going to go back in and uh, work, uh, you know, basically the guidelines that were set by the use of the white while I was doing this project. I'm not going back in and countering things and and taking away from the work that I did here with the white. I'm actually enhancing everything that was left behind. And, and it seems that a lot of times that I'm working more in the negative space is left behind uh, you know from the white than I am actually going over top of the white the core shadow here really begins to start to separate the uh, the two planes of the face and you and you begin to see you know how the lighting changes from one side to the other and uh, I'm having a lot of fun with the project and uh, really enjoying uh, you know bringing this thing to life and, and, and most of the work is done with the white and I can't emphasize that enough you know I'm just coming back in here now and uh, you know enhancing it and, or tightening it up Oh, 
not have to crack this thing up in the air. And this side, Okay, we got everything just about wrapped up here. You can see some of the subtle highlights here in the face. And, uh, you know, we're about ready to uh, degrease it and send it back out to the clear. This has been a fun project. I really look forward to doing more stuff like this. And it's a uh, whole lot of fun and exercise uh, working with core shadow and different planes of lighting that you can apply to a whole lot of different creative uh, situations for yourself.